Don't you think that it's a bit strange that there's no bridge from Sicily to mainland Italy? At the thinnest spot, the strait is only three kilometers wide. That's not that wide. The bridge between Hong Kong and Macau in its longest stretch is almost 23 kilometers long. The current situation as of 2025 is that the bridge is, supposedly, going forward. Will it get completed this time? Well, Italians don't seem to think so. As an Italian, trust me, that bridge is a meme, and this is like the 25th government that decided to build it. So many modern Italian governments have announced that they would construct a bridge there, and then ultimately failed, that the whole thing has become a massive meme in Italy. Oh! 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 Whoa! So what's going on, Italy? Are the Italians just... stupid? What's making it so difficult? The sea in the Strait of Messina is so violent that the ancient Greeks believed that mythical sea monsters lived there. Another problem with the water is that the bottom of the strait is like a canyon. It's super deep. Building bridge towers in deep, violent water is near impossible. To solve that issue, the current proposal is that the two towers for the bridge would be erected on the mainland rather than sunk into the water. But that increases the cost and the complexity, because it would then be by far the largest single-span bridge in the world over a kilometer bigger than the next. When I mentioned that there were hundreds of bridges longer, none of those bridges have spans that are this wide. A different idea from a couple thousand years ago was floated by the ancient Roman philosopher Pliny the Elder. He spoke about a plan to connect the land masses via a pontoon bridge, basically a series of connecting boats. The Romans abandoned the plan, however, when they realized that they did much more trade from north to south than from east to west. But the ocean is hiding an even older problem. One that was recently felt. In December 1908, an absolutely massive magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck the area, almost entirely destroying the city of Messina on the Sicilian side and the city of Reggio Calabria on the mainland side. Tens of thousands of people died, making it the deadliest earthquake in European history. Researchers later found that the tectonic plates that caused this earthquake literally run down the length of the Messina Strait. The type of earthquake was a dip slip. But at the end of the day, all of this should just be a cost, right? The consequences of bad engineering can be tragic. 43 people were killed when a bridge in Genoa collapsed. Apparently, the designer of that bridge, Riccardo Morandi, was considered for the Messina Bridge back in the 80s. Ultimately, there are some major engineering challenges, but in theory it should be possible. Almost 5 million people live in Sicily, which is a huge population. All of those people are held back economically because they can't get access to the Italian road network. It's extra time and extra money spent putting trucks on ferries, people on ferries, trains on ferries, Fun fact, the Strait of Messina has Europe's only remaining train ferry. But in the end, it's true. The Messina Bridge is not just an expensive construction project with insane engineering challenges, it is a uniquely Italian problem. The highway in the southwest of Italy at first seems beautiful. It has Italy's longest viaduct, and yet it harbors a dark secret. This highway is one of the best examples of Mafia corruption in southern Italy. The Mafia is involved in construction companies, labor unions, material suppliers. If you want to build something in the south of Italy, it's a nightmare because they'll consistently overcharge you and then pocket the difference. Three government ministers in Calabria were charged due to Mafia-related corruption. Oftentimes, politicians will be blackmailed and bribed to accept contracts with Mafia-affiliated businesses. In an interview with the New York Times, Aldo Verano, the author of several books on corruption, said, The South is a land of unfinished works because finished works don't pay. The highway earned the nickname, The Eternally Unfinished Highway. If maintenance continues forever, then money always trickles back to the Mafia. Lots of money used on this road was financed by the European Union. And then, when they learned about the structural issues with organized crime, they ordered their funds to be redirected to other projects, 
and also ordered Italy to pay back hundreds of millions of euros in compensation to the EU. According to the Telegraph, the Ndrangheta clan makes more than 4 billion euros a year from corruption in the south of Italy, which is a staggering amount of money. By making Calabria and Sicily have terrible highways, the Mafia isolates these areas, allowing them to have greater control over them. They're involved heavily in sea shipping in the south as well, so a more effective highway network could weaken their involvement there. The government of Italy has even suggested using the military to build these roads because they can't just trust local construction companies to be clean enough to get the job done. This highway, Italy's best example of mafia corruption, is literally the road that would connect up with a bridge to Sicily. A bridge that's supposedly going to cost billions of euros. It's easy to see why Italians would think that it's only a bad idea. It's a chicken and egg problem. If Calabria and Sicily remain isolated by road and rail, they'll remain economically depressed, and the grip that the Mafia has over them will remain strong. And yet, if you want to build infrastructure to reduce the isolation, you need to pay the Mafia-owned construction companies. This is the biggest reason that Italians think it'll never happen. The bridge has become a popular symbol of getting things done, and so a lot of governments want to use it to prove that they mean business. I think that this gives you a good idea of some of the unique challenges that Italy has. So no, the Italians aren't just stupid.